Hi, welcome back to Beverly Minster. We're back on the leaded light panel. On the previous um, short video, I showed you about putting it all up. I said that we'd have to flip flip over on the reverse side, put it all up, which we have done. Now, when we've done that, we've got to do what we call back pointing. Uh, any glaziers that are watching this will know exactly what I mean. So, what we do is we cut in like this. Round, 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 and keep carrying on like this, back pointing, and just slightly undercut underneath the cam edges. So when the we turn it over and it compresses the putty from the other side, it won't squeeze out. So this is what we'd want. We don't want it on show. We just want a nice flush line where the cam finishes. So when you're looking at the window from outside or inside when it's installed. We just see the lead line, and these is what we call the lead lines, and they should all flow together once the window is in position. Most people don't notice if they're slightly out because the eye has so many lines to look at when you're looking at a, a leaded light window like this. So, anyway, that's what we call back pointing. And then, when we've got it back pointed, we've got to clean all this off and clean all the panel, and then we put what we call tie on the panel. But I'll show you that on another video because that'll be another day now. Um, this will take me the rest of the day to get all this back pointing and cleaned off. So on that note, have a nice day. See you later. Bye.